Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Cable Boy. In this episode, I'll be entering the LCD, the Liquid Crystal Dimension. At the tail end of the last episode, I acquired a new ability. Pretty. Hang on a minute. If these are solid, there must be something up here. Perhaps I can't see it yet. All I know is that the ink cartridge allows me to change colors. Nothing there. It also makes the world look uglier. Yep, it must be here. I already screwed this up, but it's fine. Sorry for the transition. I had to take care of something. I swear, if there's something up there... In order to cross these gates, I need to swap colors. However, sometimes if I swap colors, it'll create corruption. Yeah, there is something there, of course. Not a hard part, getting back. Ah, that wasn't too bad. As with many of my previous episodes, many deaths will be edited out in post. The issue with ink cartridge is that I don't have any extra mobility. I'll finish the stage, then I'll go for Don't Agree. There we go. You can use the color pause multiple times in a row. That's what was throwing me off earlier. Think outside the box. Oh, I didn't realize this was solid. I was overthinking it. I thought it was outside the right box. I guess this green box here was the hint. Neat.
there is a bit of safety, and there's at least two of them. There's the end of the stage. But you know me, we're going for it. Oh, we have to be blue for this. Especially that last one. Ah, there we go. For the last one, I think it's better to use the analog stick so you can point it upwards. Still not as tough as some of the challenges in the tree. Speaking of which... So that's what I was supposed to do all along. Let me finish this and I'll go for it. Thankfully, many of the collectibles are pretty straightforward to find. The hard part is actually acquiring them. See? Straightforward. Again, most of them are pretty simple to find, and usually you don't need stuff from future worlds in order to collect them. Of course, and then I hit that. Ah, 
Ah, <sighs> there we go. I keep underestimating how fast it flows out. I keep expecting there to be more of a delay. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let me finish this stage first and I'll go for it. I'm gonna have to do quick swaps on the left side and then move on on the right side. That wasn't too bad. Yep, thanks to Restream, we can talk through different platforms. Hmm. That could have gone really badly. I knew it. Then I hit the wrong button. So far, all don't agree is easy to collect compared to the forest. Please don't put a collectible here. Ah, uh, of course there's one. Where could it be? Perhaps there's a fake wall somewhere? Wait, wait, the fountains. There's a hole up there. Shortcut. I like the dimension slash color swapping gimmick. It's fun. That's placed in a way to trip you up. The first part is easy, it's always swapping colors. It's down here where it tries tricking you. Blue? I'm gonna have to swap in and out of it. See what I mean? I was worried this was going to happen eventually. Uh, 
Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Only one swap really required. Somehow I got that in one run. Yep, a tutorial swap. An optional one at that. In general, this feels easier than the power plants. Even if I decide not to go for an onigiri, all the challenges feel easier. But then again, it's more for tutorial reasons. I think it's easier to triple jump, at least for me. Gotta be sure. I believe each and every one of these worlds has a secret world connected to it. The hard part is actually finding it. That's the exit. In fact, I'm not using the cable card as much anymore. In any case, time to face off against this world's boss. The Quartz Crystal. I have to unlock it. Need. Do these hurt me? Okay, this time I need green. Okay, I just need to get up there. That was the problem.
clever. Pretty cool boss. There are two ways of fighting it. The slow way and the fast way. I can either wait for the change colors, then move up, or just rush forwards. All the bosses so far creatively use all the cartridges. And here I thought the card change mechanic would be simple. Instead, all the abilities are well integrated into each other. Time to obtain our next ability, the Voltage Card. I don't think there's anything up there. The fourth and final ability. So, an even more powerful dash. It's more like temporary flight. Uh oh. I will, Jaden. Probably off screen, though. Whoa, everything's red. Are we not dead? And now we moved into the firewall. I'll begin my escape and figure out how to break through this wall in the next episode. Well, then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.